Hey guys, I'm Dave and BB-8 project update video. So, from the last video, he doesn't look much different, but there's a really important thing that I've done to him to finish him off. I've added an aerial. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, actually, no, I have added an aerial, but um, I finished the electronics. So you may notice there's a few things going on here. He's got a little red light and a little blue um, hollow projector is lighting up. And, and if we just turn it around this way, you should see that these lights are, are all animated now, which is cool. Um, but the big bonus of all of this is, of course, I've made the remote. Um, I followed a, a guide from somebody who made a BDB-8 way, way back when um, the new Star Wars was announced. Um, and he's called Ed and he's got a website where he builds stuff like this and other robots and just things that interest him. Uh, it's called Edge Junk. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link down there. Um, and he's got a really nice guide on there to get the electronics done for this, as well as the drive system um, for the main body, which is mostly what I'm going to follow as a major guide um, because he's probably got one of the best working um, insides that I've seen yet. Um, so that's all gravy, all good. So, um, for BBX's head, like I have said many, many times in these videos, I wanted to get the head completely finished, uh, which we have now achieved. I'm really, really happy to say. Um, so the remote now works with the head. So if I press a button, he talks to us. Um, so I'll show you the insides in a minute, uh, what we've got going on in there. Uh, but quickly, um, I'll look at the remote. So I've actually sealed the remote up, so unfortunately I can't show you what's inside here, um, but I can tell you what's in there. There is um, an Arduino Pro Mini, which is a tiny little Arduino board, uh, basically to just you know hold the code in and, and it knows when I press a button to tell the head what to do. Um, and we've also got uh, an XB transmitter, you can just see a bit of that there, uh, which basically is you know transmitting the code between the head and the remote. Um, we've got three buttons down the side, we've got a joystick which will eventually control the body's movement and we've also got two little PSP style controllers on the back. Uh, one is for head rotation and movement and the one at the bottom is going to be eventually for the ball to spin on the spot um, which I'm probably going to leave till last because I'm not too fussed about that one and that's pretty much it. So I've basically took some code that was available on the BB-8 Builders Club and I modified it slightly so that it does what I want it to do. Um, because a lot of people are putting lots and lots of buttons all over the remote uh, to, to control his voice, which is fine. Um, but I wanted a, a more simpler version than that because I plan to take this guy to shows and whatnot and drive him around. So um, I just I don't want to be fussed with lots of different buttons. Uh, so we've just got the three buttons on the side and middle click on the joystick, uh, which will do different noises. So I programmed it in the coding that that button and these two buttons, phone's not on silent, is uh, will we'll do what I ever set it to do in the code. So it'll always make the same noise. Whereas the last button, I've programmed it so it'll cycle through randomly a different noise every time I press it, uh, which is cool. So if I press this button now, he just chats away. And you'll notice that the little little light down here uh, reacts with his voice as well. So if I press the same button again now, we should get a different audio file. <laughs> How cool. So um, let's show you what's inside here. So there's a look in the side. I'm doing this by hand, so sorry for the shaky camera. Um, so we're looking at the Arduino Mega here, and it's got a hat on it called Wave Shield. And uh, as you can see right there, there's um, a memory card plugged in and that's the wave shield right there bit of rewiring going on and there's the mega underneath and that basically controls all the audio and um you know all that sort of business uh, up here we've got the other side of the xb which is uh receiving the signal obviously that's wired into the mega and then over here we've got an amp which Obviously, you know, we need uh, BB-8 to be loud, so we could have the speaker plugged into the Mega, but it's not loud enough, say, for a show or something, for people to be able to hear it. Um, and then we've got a battery over here, which has got a um, 12-volt output. So the 12 volts goes straight into the amp, 
and then from the amp to the mega. Now we have to step down the voltage because the mega only runs on five volts. So we've got this little funky thing here called a UBEC. If we just turn it over and uh, that basically turns it down to five volts. So then the mega doesn't start overheating the speakers in the middle. We've got um, uh, a jack here connecting the amp to the mega. And then obviously when we press a button, like so. He talks. And then there's all the LED lighting at the back. So we've got uh, everything's hooked up to the mega with the exception of the PSI, which is that one there, uh, which reacts with the audio. So that one is wired to the amp so that when there's audio coming through the amp, it's that light will be then in sync rather than it being completely random. Uh, and then the code is basically telling what these lights to do as well as that one over there. And then we've got a red one just behind there. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, so there's the brain of BB-8. All right, so there you go. Um, he is officially, officially finished now uh, when it comes to the head. Um, uh, you're probably thinking, well, what about weathering? I've decided to leave weathering to the very, very last thing to do because the last thing I want to do is weather the head and then six months down the line, weather the body and they don't match because that's absolutely a possibility. Um, you know how things go. So I'd, I'd rather do it all in one go, one job, uh, doing the weathering. So that would be, I, I wouldn't consider that part of finishing his head. I just consider that part of finishing the entire thing. Um, so there we are, uh, head's done. He's got a voice. <laughs> um, so uh, if, if I attend any shows this year, there's a very, very good possibility that the head on its own will come with me. Um, so people can get to see it and have a proper look at it close up in real life um, and see how it's done and ask me any questions about the project. Um, so next up now, of course, is doing the body. So those of you who watched uh, the video where I've got the body, the inner sphere made, I had a lot of trouble with it. Um, it's something I'm going to save for another video to explain. Um, I'm not going to be using that inner sphere anymore. I've decided to change the design to an aluminium frame or aluminium for you Americans, um, where it's uh, more like a skeleton, a skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. You know what I mean? Inner body, <laughs> uh, where it's 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 like a wireframe. Um, it's very sturdy. It's made from CNC or laser cut aluminium. I think laser cut is going to be cheaper. I've not actually got the frame yet. Um, so that's going to be the next purchase. Um, I've dropped lots and lots and lots of money on um, the drive system. I'm just waiting for those parts to arrive, probably end of January uh, from what I can tell, because a lot of the parts have got to be imported. Um, and I'm doing that through with, with the company who are helping me get the parts in, because uh, I had a bit of trouble sourcing some stuff um, and getting it imported on my own. Some companies could just flat out refuse to send it to the UK for whatever reason. Uh, so now I'm going through um, a company that does this kind of thing, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, um, if you want to check out more about this project, then have a look at my Patreon. Uh, of course, this is partly funded by my Patreon uh, supporters. So if you'd like to become a supporter of just the channel or this project, then do check that out. Uh, there's lots of information on there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did, thumbs it down if you didn't. And if you've got any questions, of course, stick them in the comments section below and I will answer them uh, the best I can. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Okay, BB-8. I'll catch you all next time. Bye.